it's underdiagnosed a lot. Many people have the disorder, but they are officially diagnosed as having depression and bipolar disorder most commonly. I mean, it is true that some people miss the diagnosis, but I think more commonly is that the modern psychiatrists will recognize the disorder, but they won't give the diagnosis. They don't feel comfortable treating that. It's much easier in terms of paperwork and reimbursement to put down depression and or bipolar disorder. It gives them a sense that they're doing something where they feel confident and that they don't have to get that involved. They give medications and they give reassurance. The problem is that they don't work. The borderline personality disorder actually trumps the things that they could diagnose so that if you can treat bipolar disorder, but it's not going to really have that much effect. And antidepressants don't have much benefit at all for people who may meet criteria for major depression, but if they have borderline personality disorder, it's not going to happen. The borderline patient is depressed for good reason. They're, they don't have a good life. They don't have good relationships. They have every reason to be depressed, and medications are, aren't going to do anything about that.